the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. To sing his praise to your name, O Most High. To herald your love in the morning. Your truth at the close of the day. Our health is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly Father, Father, we have, have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May, God Almighty, may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He has made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Zechariah. And on that day I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that they, when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. On that day, the morning in Jerusalem will be as great as the morning for Hadad Rimon in the plain of Megiddo. On that day, a fountain shall be opened for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and impurity. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who is my associate, says the Lord of hosts. Strike the shepherd that the sheep may not be scattered. I will turn my hand against the little ones in the whole land, says the Lord, two-thirds shall be cut off at Barish, and one-third shall be left alive. And I will put this third into the fire and refine them as one refines silver and test them as gold is tested. They will call my name, and I will answer them, and I will say, they are my people. And they will say, the Lord is our God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. 
Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. those who are seeking you. For those who have no one to pray for. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, Lord now let us, thou thy servant, servant depart, depart in peace, peace according, according to thy word. word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We will lie down in peace and take our rest. For it is you, O Lord, who make us live in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. As the watchman looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen.